In this video, we will be showing you how to set your personal profile. When you get your IQ Buds, it's essential to first configure your personal profile settings in the app. You can get to the personal profile screen by clicking the menu icon in the top left of the screen. The default profile is set to 3. There are five settings to boost different frequencies for your left and right ears separately. It is important that you choose the setting that most closely matches your hearing requirements. One is natural or no adjustment. Two is real world bass or low frequency boosts. Three is slight treble or high frequency boosts, which is good if you have mild hearing challenges or want a slight boost to higher pitch frequencies. Four and five are stronger treble or high frequency boosts. If you have trouble hearing female or children's voices, it's recommended you experiment with setting four or five to choose the level that gives the most clarity while listening in a quiet environment. In some cases, the left and right ears do not hear evenly, and it may be necessary to choose a different setting for each ear. You can use the balance control at the bottom of the screen to adjust how you hear both the sounds in the world around you, as well as the audio from your Bluetooth device. If you are aware that one ear hears better than the other, set the balance control for the worst ear to the maximum setting. Then adjust the balance control for the better ear so that the sound to each ear appears symmetrical. If your hearing is the same for both ears, then the balance control should be set to the same level. You can tap here to turn the personal profile on or off. To reset back to the default, you can simply tap Reset in the upper right corner. Once completed, the settings are saved in the IQ Buds and should not have to be adjusted again. If you have selected frequency band setting 2, 4 or 5, or have the balance control set to maximum, then it is important not to set the real-world volume too high, as it might result in acoustic feedback when touching or removing the IQ Buds. Generally, it should not be necessary to set the real-world volume to more than 75% of maximum. If in noisy environments, the noise level can be controlled using the sync or live EQ wheel rather than increasing the real world volume. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit newhearer.com/support for more helpful information.